been a bit hectic this morning because this is a last minute job. It just gets it just gets better and better. Yeah, the bad news is bad news. First corner's up, you'll see it's a mixture of bricks. Right. Check there's no music on the radio. No, right. So, this is what we've got today, which is been a bit hectic this morning because this is a last minute job. And it's um, 17th of October, it's 10 to 11 now. Been a lot of running around, back and forwards. We forgot to ask the customs to leave us water, <laughs> so I've had to bring some water from home. I've got a bit bailed out but that's not ideal so this is it customs had to go himself um, decided it's not for him and then it was left I'm not sure how long it's been left obviously it's been a while Alex has already stripped off the vegetation this morning while I've been backwards and forwards and yeah come find me wellies so we're going to check all the measurements we're going to check this check what he's done is okay if not we'll just take it down trench block can stay in we can freaking fettle on top of them and then I think the concrete steps up here there you go so we've got this side this side set out now the dimensions are five meters wide and 3.1 projection and first thing I'm going to do is get the laser level set up and find our take our level off the underside of the bifold doors so while that's in I'm just going to dip Dip all the levels. Sorry about the sound, but the microphones have gone away to get repaired today. Should be back next week. So yeah, that's the plan. Might might be a bit of demolition there. We're gonna to have to. The brickwork's already crept up a bit higher on the on the brickwork on the house. So we need to hit this. So the block work is okay. We can just cut that next course of block down. The brickwork isn't. So we're probably gonna to have to take that down below ground level and put a course of splits in or a brick on edge. But yeah, let's get stuck into this and get it fixed. It's got me interesting on this. I should have got Alex to do this first thing this morning instead of digging but uh, yeah at least there's a bit of a breeze and the sun's out but these things there's 200 brick here and they're all soaked like I said they've been sat here for a year but they've been wrapped and when they're wrapped it doesn't keep them dry it traps in the condensation because these are actually you can't see on all of them on the side of the bricks you can see that's condensation the way it's formed on the side because they were stacked flat so the dry ones are very pale as you can see, that's, that's the dry one. But the uh, the dark ones are very, very wet. This is a dry one. So, we've got our dimensions, we've got our diagonal. Our diagonal is 5883. I won't show you how we did that because I've done it a few times now, <laughs> a few videos. So, we're going to go from this side where he's set out. We're going to put, carry that line up to DPC. We're going to strike the line across there, mark that one, and then we're going to start checking checking the squares and the dimensions and what have you so let's get that bit done and then this lot's coming down all the brickwork block work can stay we've just got a, a cut to go over the top of that so um yeah let's get that done sorry should have mentioned yeah this is all out of gauge 565 from the block so gauge is 525 or 600 so what we're going to do is going to cut a piece Cut a block down to about 100 mil, and just put that all the way around the perimeter on the outside. That's going to save on a few bricks as well, and um, that'll get us all level. That's our pig cut out, and then the inside. We'll we'll work that out later. But um, yeah, and then the plan is to try and get all the block work up today, and get the two corners up for the face work for tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, it's game over. I think for about three or four days, judging by what uh, storm Babette. 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 It's a new one, isn't it? Sounds like a Okay. 
news update. It just gets it just gets better and better. Yeah, the bad news is bad news. We um, we've put our put our marks on first first go straight across to get our diagonal, and that's 67 mil. It's big, so it needs to go that way. 67 mil. So basically, it's that cavity, more or less. Cavity to that 70, so that whole thing is going over. By the way, that cavity. So we're gonna have to get this this trench dry, run a course of four inch block along here, and just move every re rebuild everything here and move it over. The trench block can stay in. Well, they got two, haven't they? They've bloody concreted in. Yeah. Like I say, just gotta put another skin along there just to move over. Don't know about this end. We haven't measured that yet, but this end because it steps up. This row block here is going to work gauge, so we can just put the trench box straight in there. Two coarser block on the outside, inside, six coarser brick on the outside. So, I think us getting this block work done today and getting the corners up is. Why is that bucket doing that? It's been. Um, it's been altered. The drink's been altered. about three inches worth. Found Probably the concrete. Yeah. We just need to get rid of the water now. We need to space for that out. Oh, reminds me of back on site. Mm, bad memories. I've got most of the water out already. I'm just really with the camera. I have to try and knock this wall down and clean the bricks up. But they are not coming clean. It's like granite. Because there's only granite bricks on that. And the blocks, the blocks aren't coming clean either. They're going to be hardcore. Uh, blocks are notoriously bad to, hard to clean because of the texture. And the motor te sticks really tight to block work. Especially with good 4 to 1 mix.
Wednesday the 18th of October, 10 to 8. I've been here since half past. I need to get this pallet down. I have to dig out a bit to get it out of the way so we can still get access because the sand's going on there. The sand's always better on a pallet. It doesn't soak the moisture out of the floor. It's going to be there for a while. I've got to get in. We've got our scraper. Which we're going to do this. Which is getting all the weeds off the flags. Once that's done, the tum bags are coming over the fence and they're going to get whoosh. So anyone who doesn't like seeing the bag split, look away. Because we're going to be splitting three of them. And yeah, so the stones go in here because we can't reach over there. And we put it onto a nice hard surface, it's easy to spade. And anyone who's tried to spade 40 mil down MOT out of a bag would know exactly why we're doing this. And sand over there, four bags of cement, and the insulation boards are coming, which we can put over there. So everything except the visqueen, which we'll be bringing up to get this slabbed, because that's our mission is to get this up to the up to the so you can get it slabbed. And then the yeah, customer's going to take it from there. He's going to decide what to do with it after that. All the cuts are ready to go. All the blocks are ready to go. Um, we need some more blocks to go across this front. Maybe seven. I might just use the broken bricks. Clean a few up and just rattle them across there. It's going to be like French doors with a flag frame either side onto a little dwarf wall. And then two, two um, so door, dwarf wall and then a pillar all the way up. And then brickwork for the rest of the way around both sides. So it's all symmetrical. Let's get this done, get me coffee, and see uh, if our deliveries are right. Here we go. Excuse the wind, because um, Storm Barbette is approaching, and our mics are away for repair. They got picked up yesterday, so it's going to be a week before we get them back. So, it's a bit of um, I'll try and keep the camera shelter from the wind as best I can. So there you go. There's our hard standing for our stone. I've just put those pieces of timber there to stop the stone falling back into the grass. Obviously it can go that way because that's getting stoned up into it a bit. Um, we just have to be careful sto shoveling up off these flags because they're uneven. If you hit the flag you can do damage to your wrist. So I'm ready for delivery now so I can get mixer set up. I've got my electric which is there. So all the buckets are filled up by the customer, so we've got plenty of water for today. And I just need Alex. He said he's going to come in as soon as he feels better. But he's a lot of pain. I've got a very poorly family at the moment. Um, but you just keep muddling on, don't you? He's, gonna, he's going off in um, eight days, I think. Near's coming down for uh, ten days, I think. So um, I've got a couple of pointing jobs lined up. Which I probably won't take you along to because nobody likes watching points and jobs. So right, I'm going to get this mixer set up. I'm going to get half a mix in and I'm going to start doing something here. I might just put the, uh, the face corners up so it's all set when Alex gets back. So I'll catch you in a bit.
and I don't know if I've shown already but we have a full squad my boy's in his mum brought him in about an hour ago thank god needed him today so that's what we're up to first corner's up you'll see it's a mixture of bricks he doesn't want all the engineering bricks showing because it's quite high up the ground at the side so he said two three maximum showing above the ground and then face brick up to the DPC all these things here and um, across the front it's just going to be two face showing because the ground level is obviously going to be up because the doors are on the front and you don't want more of a drop than 150 mils there's no point face brick any lower down because they're not going to be seen on the other side it's just going to be just two courses of face brick so, so it's three on this side two on this side two on that side because that ground level there is a lot higher as you can see there's four pink bricks showing there below damp and then only up there you've only got two and a bit so the ground's like this so yeah corner's up Alex is running now to his to his heart's content and I'm going to go up there trace the bond through and get that corner up and then we're away then once the uh, face works up we can just string a line off the face work for the block work inside we've cut the uh, insulation back a bit these houses were refurbed about 15 probably about 15 years ago and they were all insulated on the outside that's why I got the big overhang on the on the it's rendered underneath but then they re-rendered it with insulation so we just had to cut back to get our laser line through onto the wall so Alex on that I'm going on that and then fingers crossed we'll get it up to damp today uh, it's just this kind of terrain is just the worst for me absolute worst but we'll just keep plugging on and uh, like I said all the flags are ready for the stone to come they're just getting so right go for a break get this camera charged up and see right there we go that's our bond unfortunately there's a piece in it that can't be out that's our measurement 3.1 that's what we're working to, that's what we're given. I think it's something to do with, um, not building regs, but um, <laughs> planning permission. If you go any further out, it's, it's uh, needs planning permission. I don't get involved in all that. But, uh, yeah, Alex is just tracing the bond through for me, because I can't do it. But it's taking me twice as long anyway. <clears throat> we're going around a motor now. Uh, they said delivery's coming this morning, so there's not much of the morning left. So I'm just set up on this corner to get this corner up once then we bond which I do now works break doesn't it? looks like it yeah it's always nice when it works break just don't forget you got to go 5 mil back is it 5 mil out or back? oh it's get back in that way isn't it yeah so yeah just normal joints because some of them are quite tightly together so yeah cool we're tracing through with the face brick because obviously the face brick go up after DPC <coughs> um, yeah and that corner is 10 mil low which I know because I've checked with the laser which is over there so, so much easier to have this thing set up just there. It's, it's, an, it's an M12, but you can have that running all day. So, all you do, dip it with your tape. Zoom in on 460. There you go, without putting the camera in the way. 460. So, pick up 10mm, which is dead easy. And then we're going to carry that. That's three face on that end. We're going to carry the two face round all the way around this way. So I think when I switch the radio off and do a bit of normal filming for this one, see how it goes. I'm 
distress that. Yeah, it does not cat now. Hey. It's not finished, is it? So I'll have to keep it there. You got to shoot it, yeah. Massively, mainly that front edge. So we've got to clear room for the barriers. It's all on flags, so it just needs chopping off. Just chuck it back. That's what I was doing.
All right, that corner set. We're out of mortar. Oh, three more bricks, two more bricks to go on that corner. It would have been finished. Mortar's gone. Alex has just cleared a bit more of this lump of shite out of the way, so got a nice clear room for the lads with the um, concrete. Um, yeah, that's it really. So, uh, delivery is supposed to be this morning, so I'm gonna have to give Sue a ring, see what's happening. There's not much morning left. It's half past eleven, so we'll chase them up because we need to get this done today. So catching up. The boys have arrived, so I'm gonna get you set up, and we'll hope to God that they can get the the MOT here. <laughs> So obviously it's looking like a bit of a stretch so we'll have to uh we'll have to see either way the sand's going to be over there so there we go get you set up should just reach now yeah i might not reach the flags though i might just re i don't know i'll put it down yeah. can we slash the sand if i can If anyone's sensitive to um, the ton bags being cut, look away. And we're in, just the, uh, there's the sand, there's the stone, just the insulation and the cement's going now. And we're firing, firing all cylinders, it's going, to be, it's going to end up working late again though, because this is quite late, this delivery. So uh, anyway, let's crack on.
give you three guesses. <laughs> Dad's had to go again because we are seven blocks short to get that inside finish, unfortunately. It's one of those things, isn't it? But I've not I'm about halfway on that last course. Now I can get that covered up until uh, it's ready for jointing. Because these bricks are just soaked. But um so Dad's gone to Fairwoods to go pick blocks up. I'll get this finished off and just try and um get some stuff covered up now because the rain is here. I forgot what the storm's name is, it's a very strange name with a B. Um blip for a swear word. <laughs> um but yeah, that's the plan and then I'm trying to get out of the lad of here. The plan was to get it ready for backfilling at least. So if we get these get them blocks in and get this front course of brick in and we should be golden to get that done tomorrow, rain or shine, because that doesn't matter when we're throwing a bunch of stone in, does it? So I'll um I'll have to turn you off for now because dad's gone with the batteries and you're about to die, so we will um see you when he comes back. There you go. It's just gone half four, so it's a bit of a push, but um we're getting there. We might be obviously working a little bit late, but we're, we're a bit behind because the, the materials came late and Alex wasn't well this morning, so we had a bit of a dodgy start. But uh, yeah, that is Alex's, all Alex's own handiwork. None of mine, that's all his. He made a lovely job of that. Working on the inside, getting the internal block work up. Door set out, another course to go on all the way around on the internal, and then if there's what's left of the motor going on one of these sides, probably that side. Yeah, we set up on that side, and then I'm going to put a bit of block work through here, nine inch here where the wall door is, just to give it a bit of strength. But yeah, let's get the new battery in this because it's on five percent, yep. and sticking on time lapse. Yeah, dodgy start, but I'm very, very hard working this. I'm really, really, really find it hard, but uh, feeling good we've got this far now. And it's um, as it is, when, once that block works run through that side, it'll be ready for slab because the sides don't need to be up, as we always say, because you, you, you're tamping off the block work. Everything's done to a laser level, so it's going to be oh, nice and straight, and we should have a tamp. That we'll go from side to side. If not, we'll just hire one for options. Five, two. Six. Yeah. It's not bad though. 
it when you have to go. Yeah. The rain tried to let it off, there was a break. And the main thing is we've got it ready to get stone to it. I've made a start chucking stone in now. That is our roughly our finished height. So I think we may need a bit more stone than that. We may just need to get filled with the ring for another ton. That's just what it is, isn't it? Gotta get filled. There you go. I got all the block work up and I got uh, brick work up. Managed to sneak another uh, two courses on that side. Pardon? All that just got the corners. Yeah. Yeah, so I managed to sneak two courses on there, so I think Dad said one more mix should get the rest of this done, which is nice to hear. Whether he's right or not, we'll see. There you go. So we will catch you tomorrow for filling this bad boy up. Well, it seems we, well, I forgot to film an outro again, so from, from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.